These are the Meta Ray-Ban Smart Glasses. I am literally filming with them on right now. I recently ordered these and I was so hyped to try them, especially since the quality on the camera is quite good and the new improvement to the speakers, and it even has an AI assistant. Hey Meta, how many miles is a 10K? It got me thinking, how well do these actually work? And could they replace these? This is one of the best ways I could think of to test the camera on these. And by now, you guys probably already know my passion for fitness. The first thing I wanna show you is the footage on these during a run. Let's get these must-know specs out of the way. You could even get the lenses clear. That would pretty much make them more versatile, so then that way you could use them indoors instead of looking like Casey Neistat. And as someone who wears prescription glasses, you could also get these. That's right, in prescription. There's this button conveniently placed on the side. You hold it down for about two seconds and it starts recording video. Alternatively, a quick press is what's gonna take a photo. The impressive part is when you compare these. And let's be honest, you know if you're running or if you're working out, you're gonna at some point get some footage of the route of yourself it's going up on instagram or on strava i'm making a video for these glasses they have a camera here just for a, a video sake if i could get you running and then just try to compare these cameras all right we're just gonna go coasting like, okay. a, like a nice like nine minute pace jog yeah yeah in a row. when you're ready starting from the left is the iphone 14 pro and i do have it on action mode in the middle are the metal Ray-Bans. Already I'm impressed with how stable it is. One thing you could notice though, it is tricky to know what's in frame. I wanna focus here on my new friend, but at the same time, you could tell I have to look forward to see where I'm going. The right camera is my action cam. It's gonna be the most stable, of course. I use this camera at some point almost in all my videos, but it's literally like the same price of the glasses. That's a little bit over four miles for today's track workout. Also, keep in mind of the convenience as opposed to using an iPhone or an action camera is that these are completely hands-free. The only thing is, of course, it is difficult to kind of gauge at what you're filming, mainly also because of the position in where the camera is at. And you guys should know, this only records in vertical. So for someone like me that creates content for you guys here on YouTube, that's kind of a little bit of a bummer. Um, I would like to see maybe like a future generation record in that 16 by 9 but overall you know these are also automatic so there are no manual settings they work great for like high contrast areas I give it like an 8 out of 10 I would like to see a future generation be able to record in 16 by 9 but overall they're great except except if you're recording at night. First of all, if you want to use these at night or darker settings, seriously consider getting the clear lens because it's dark outside right now. It's Tuesday night, also the coldest night of the year so far, and I'm here with my local run club. I wanted to get some of their first impressions on them. Try these on. Do they feel like any different than uh, regular sunglasses? Here though, eh? No, they don't weigh anything. It's not heavy at all, man. Yeah. It's a um, little thicker. The frame's thicker, I can tell. But weight-wise, it's pretty light. At this point, if you're telling yourself that you would never work out with these, these aren't meant for running, and you're gonna damage these. Well, this new generation is IPX4 water resistant. So it's even on their website that if you do get caught in a light rain, that they'll be fine. Just dry them after you're done. Of course, water resistant doesn't mean sweat resistant. So from my experience though, if you follow me on Instagram, I've been running with these on for six to seven weeks and I've had no issues at all. The lenses have a top notch build to them and the case, it may resemble a typical Ray-Bans, but it's not your typical case. The case is how you would charge the Ray-Bans. It uses a USB-C and it's right here at the bottom. A light indicator in the center 
which goes from green to orange to red and inside it has a connector sort of a nose hold which connects the glasses to the case I dig the case the camera but surprisingly what I find most useful are the speakers about a year and a half ago, I started using bone conduction headphones, open ear headphones, which makes sense. That's when I started to run more. And for all you guys that don't know, those are, it allows you to listen to music, audio, without being so disconnected from the world. It allows you to hear your outdoor surroundings. These are gonna give you somewhat of the same experience. Not the bone conduction part, but the ability to listen to your music and hear everything around you. And not just for running, I actually use these a lot when I'm taking a call. I'm getting something for my car right now. And once I'm done here at the auto parts store, I'll go ahead and go home and yeah, I'll make some dinner. Okay, I'll see you later. These have four speakers, two on each ear, and it's honestly been my favorite experience. The convenience of going anywhere and leaving my earbuds behind. Similar to open ear headphones, when you have the volume on these at like 70% or more, you are gonna notice some noticeable sound leakage. If you're in a quiet place like this, then if there's anyone around you, their chances are they're going to be able to listen to whatever it is you have playing. I personally use these at like a 50% volume. That's like the sweet spot for me. It does a good enough job for music, especially for me when I'm running, but I think it excels more on podcasts, audiobooks, and taking calls. In case anyone's curious, the reason why I was here is I'm trying to fix my window the power on it went out but I have to share with you guys how well the controls work on these it has a side panel on your right hand side so nothing on your left and the controls are gonna work really smooth allowing you to control the volume skip songs go back at some point in the future we should get an update which will allow the meta AI and the camera to work hand in hand there's a really popular short from MKBHD. Hey Meta, look and tell me what you see. I see a person wearing a black hoodie and jeans standing in front of a large window with a camera held up to their eye. That's scary, but more exciting than anything else really. For my lifestyle, someone that's very active, I think these are totally worth it. I paid 329 I got them from Best Buy. My action camera, 300 ish US dollars. These are open ear headphones that I would use for running. These are 180 and then regular Ray-Bans without any of the tech. They're gonna run you 150 to 179, I believe. And you get all that for 329. Some simple features that I think they could add with like a firmware update is two things. First, these have 32 gigabytes of memory and that's mainly used for, I think, just photos and videos. But I would like to see a way to put music on here so you just don't need to rely on the Bluetooth. And that could probably help with the battery life because my second thing I would like them to improve is that the battery life on these is four hours. But from my experience, I know it's been pretty cold here. And of course, since I'm testing it, I've been using it a little bit more than the average use but I've been getting less than three. So I would like to see these anywhere from like five to six. I think that would be the sweet spot, but this is just an early era of wearables and I'm so excited. I pre-ordered the Apple Vision Pro, so I'll have a video on that. And anything that can make you a little bit, maybe more excited about living a healthier life, I'm here for it. If it can make your workout more enjoyable, then that's what I'll review in the tech space. Hope you guys like this video, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.